So on when we do S seams, there are seam tools that you can use. The way that I was taught was how to freehand seam. So on one side, I'll use my razor blade and I'll create that S curve along the one side of the grass. And on the other side, I'll use these shears and I'm just taking my time going very slowly, just snipping an eighth of an inch at a time, just to make sure that I have just enough gap between the grass to allow it to expand when it gets hot so it doesn't create ripples in the yard. But as we're going along, we're just snipping carefully, tracing that S seam on the other side to, you know, get a, get a perfect match. So here I'm just kind of marking out where I'm going to cut. For beginners, I always tell them to, you know, kind of score your mark first. So here I'm just making my relief cut. And then with my blade, I am going to create the S pattern on this side of the grass. The key is to do your best to not have any straight lines in your seam. Straight lines are very easily visible um, with the naked eye. The, the S seam really helps hide, um, hide that that's, there's two pieces of grass. It makes it look like one cohesive piece after you're done. And right here, um, this is just where we're, where we're almost finished up having it all cut. This is our first one. I'm just going to go all the way down. Make sure that I don't have any straight lines. And if you mess up on part of it, you know, with artificial grass, you can never put it back, but you can always take away. So if you have parts that look a little bit off, then go back through with uh, the pair of shears and correct those mistakes. I'll finish this cut right here. And this is the part where we are prepping to get the seam tape laid down. So we have our one side cut. Then we're going to take the other piece of grass and fold it over. Put this seam tape down. And when you're laying the seam tape, you want the top of your S curve or your S seam uh, to be in the, uh, on top of that red middle line. So you have an even spread when you're, when you're getting ready to glue. So we'll lay this out, make sure that it is you know, on top and ready for glue. So after you cut your S seam and you trace it back over, Ideally, you want it to be perfect the first time, but it, it will never hurt to do your due diligence. Go back through your seam, make sure any of your backing is not touching. So I'd recommend going back and just kind of touching up every piece like Ryan is doing here. So our, although he's already cut it, he's going back through and making sure that everything has a proper gap. And here I'm using the shears to trace the other side and I'm doing it like an eighth of an inch at a time. I'm not cutting any of the blades of grass. I'm just cutting the backing, and I want there to be about a quarter inch gap in between each piece of turf to allow it to expand without creating ripples later on. 